One minute ago, Mount Etna just released a gas that shocked scientists, and they can't explain it. I'm not talking about the usual lava or ash clouds you'd expect from Europe's most dangerous volcano. I'm talking about thousands of perfect circles of gas shooting into the sky, like nature just learned geometry. Scientists counted nearly 5,000 of these impossible formations in a single day, and the numbers are breaking every model they have. What you're about to discover will completely change how you think about what's happening beneath our feet right now. Because while researchers scramble to understand this phenomenon, something much bigger might be building in Etna's depths. And the warning signs are starting to add up in ways that have volcanologists genuinely concerned. But before we dive into what this could mean for the millions of people living in this volcano's shadow, you need to understand why these gas rings are so different from anything we've seen before. Picture this. You're Dr. Boris Banke from Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, and you've spent decades studying Mount Etna. You've seen every type of eruption, gas emission, and volcanic tantrum this mountain can throw. You think you know what to expect. Then suddenly, your monitoring equipment starts detecting something that shouldn't be possible according to everything you've learned about how volcanoes work. On April 2nd, 2024, at exactly 3.47 p.m. local time, Behinke's thermal cameras captured something extraordinary. Instead of the chaotic, violent gas bursts typical of volcanic activity, Etna was producing perfect circles of condensed vapor, one after another with almost mechanical precision. The first ring appeared without warning, then another and another. Within hours, the phenomenon had escalated to one ring every few minutes, each one more perfect than the last. In 30 years of studying this volcano, I've never seen anything like it. Benke reported to his colleagues. It's like watching Etna transform into some kind of natural machine. These weren't just occasional oddities. We're talking about thousands of perfect circular gas rings erupting in mathematical precision, defying everything scientists thought they knew about volcanic behavior. Each ring was identical in formation, rising at the same rate, maintaining its perfect circular shape for minutes at a time. The initial reaction wasn't scientific curiosity, it was genuine confusion bordering on disbelief. Some researchers initially thought their equipment was malfunctioning. Others wondered if they were witnessing some kind of man-made phenomenon. The idea that a volcano could produce such orderly repeated formations seemed to go against the fundamental chaotic nature of volcanic systems. Normal volcanic gas emissions are messy, unpredictable, and chaotic. They reflect the turbulent, violent processes happening in the magma chamber below. But these rings, they suggest a level of pressure control and vent precision that implies something fundamental has changed in how Etna is releasing gases from its depths. And here's what has everyone worried. Mount Etna doesn't just do things randomly. This volcano has patterns. And when those patterns change dramatically, it usually means something big is brewing. Now let me tell you about the numbers that are making scientists question everything they thought they knew about volcanic gas emissions. In recorded volcanic history, maybe a dozen volcanoes worldwide have ever been documented producing these vortex rings. Stromboli in Italy produces them occasionally, maybe five or six, during a particularly active period. Iceland's Ajafjalla Jökull, Ajafjalla Jökull, created a few during its famous 2010 eruption that shut down European air traffic. But we're talking about sporadic occurrences, maybe a few rings over several days during exceptional circumstances. Mount Etna just shattered those numbers completely. In April 2024 alone, thermal imaging captured nearly 5,000 perfect gas rings emerging from a single crater. That's more vortex rings than all other volcanoes combined have produced in the entire span of modern volcanic monitoring. But the deeper they dug into the data, the more questions emerged about what's really happening in Etna's depths. Bahanka's team deployed emergency drone missions to capture this phenomenon in real time. What they... What scientists discovered was both fascinating and deeply concerning. The crater had essentially transformed itself into the perfect gas ring factory through a recent collapse that created ideal vent geometry a nearly perfect circular opening with just the right diameter and depth to create these toroidal vortices. 
Here's how these rings form and why the process is so remarkable. Superheated gas, primarily water vapor mixed with sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, gets expelled through this circular vent under extremely precise pressure conditions. The gas creates what's called a toroidal vortex, where the gas essentially rolls into itself, forming a perfect donut shape that can maintain its structure for up to 10 minutes as it rises through the atmosphere. Think of it like blowing a smoke ring, but instead, the measurements are staggering. Each ring averaged 15 to 20 meters in diameter. They rose at a consistent rate of two meters per second. The gas temperature inside each ring measured between 100 and 150 degrees Celsius. Most remarkably, the rings maintain their perfect circular structure for an average of eight minutes before atmospheric conditions cause them to dissipate. But here's what is everyone worried. This level of precision and consistency suggests something fundamental has changed in Etna's internal plumbing system. The volcano is accessing deeper carbon dioxide reservoirs than usual, creating pressure conditions that shouldn't be sustainable for this long. It's like watching a machine operate at impossible efficiency. The gas composition readings are equally puzzling. While the rings appear to be primarily water vapor, the trace gases tell a different story. Elevated levels of carbon dioxide suggest these emissions are coming from much deeper in the Earth than typical surface gas releases. The sulfur dioxide concentrations indicate ongoing chemical processes in the magma chamber that weren't present during previous monitoring periods. And here's what is everyone worried. When a volcano starts changing its fundamental gas emission patterns this dramatically, it usually means the magma system underneath is undergoing significant changes. With Mount Etna's history, that's not something anyone wants to ignore. Let me tell you something about Mount Etna that most people don't realize. This volcano doesn't just erupt randomly. It gives warnings. And those warnings often come in the form of unusual gas emissions that precede major volcanic events. The most devastating eruption in Etna's recorded history happened in 1669, when lava flows reached the sea and completely reshaped the city of Catania. But here's the crucial detail that has modern volcanologists paying such close attention to these gas rings. That catastrophic eruption was preceded by months of strange, unusual gas emissions that local residents reported, but that weren't properly understood at the time. Historical accounts from 1669 describe mysterious vapors and unnatural exhalations rising from the mountain in the months before the major eruption. Church records from the period mention priests offering special prayers to protect against the devil's breath rising from Etna. While we don't have scientific instruments from that era, the descriptions bear an eerie resemblance to what residents are reporting now about these gas rings. What locals are reporting from the ground tells an even more unsettling story than what the scientific instruments are recording. Giuseppe Torisi, a farmer whose family has worked Etna's slopes for five generations, told reporters, My grandfather used to tell stories about strange signs before the mountain got angry. He said the mountain would breathe in circles before the big eruptions. I thought they were just old superstitions until I saw these rings with my own eyes. Maria Castellano, who runs a bed and breakfast in Taormina, has been photographing the rings daily since they started appearing. At first, we thought they were beautiful, like the mountain was putting on a show for the tourists, but now they appear so regularly, so predictably, that it, it feels like the mountain is trying to tell us something. My customers ask me if they should be worried, and honestly, I don't know what to tell them anymore. Local guide Antonio Musumeci who leads hiking tours up Etna's slopes, has noticed behavioral changes in wildlife that coincide with the gas ring phenomenon. The birds that usually nest near the summit have moved lower down the mountain. Even the stray dogs that hang around the tourist areas seem nervous, like they sense something we don't. But these gas emissions aren't happening in isolation. They're part of a pattern of increased activity that has been building for months. 
Seismic monitoring stations have recorded a steady increase in micro-earthquakes around Etna's gas ring crater. These aren't the dramatic shaking events. It's not the dramatic eruptions that make headlines, but rather the subtle underground movements that indicate magma is moving and pressure is building in the volcanic system. The frequency of these microquakes has doubled since the gas rings began appearing. Environmental monitoring stations have detected elevated levels of volcanic gases across eastern Sicily, not dangerous yet, but representing a significant increase from baseline levels recorded over the past decade. The volume of gas being released suggests that enormous amounts of material are moving through Etna's underground system. Ground deformation measurements using GPS satellites show that the area around the gas ring crater has risen by 3.2 centimeters since April 2024, a subtle but significant change that indicates pressure building underground. And what they've discovered about the deeper implications will shock you. Now I'm going to tell you something that's not appearing in any of the official scientific reports about Mount Etna's gas rings, but it's the detail that has volcanologists most concerned. At the International Association of Volcanology and Chemistry of the Earth's Interior Conference last month, there was a closed-door session about Etna's gas emissions that wasn't open to the media or the public. According to sources who attended that meeting, the discussion wasn't about the beauty or rarity of the gas rings. It was about what the gas composition data is revealing about much deeper processes happening in Etna's magma system. Here's what they're not telling the public. The carbon dioxide levels in these gas rings indicate that Etna is accessing magma reservoirs much deeper than previously thought possible. We're talking about magma sources that may extend down hundreds of kilometers below the surface. Depths that could indicate connections to much larger geological processes. Dr. Sarah Chen, a geochemist who specializes in volcanic gas analysis and who spoke on condition of anonymity, explained, the isotopic signatures in Etna's gas rings don't match what we'd expect from the shallow magma chambers we've been monitoring. They match signatures we would expect from mantle depths of 400 to 600 kilometers below the surface. If that's accurate, it means Etna has access to magma sources we never knew existed. The implications are staggering. Traditional models assume that Mount Etna's eruptions are fed by relatively shallow magma chambers located 2 to 10 kilometers below the surface. These new findings suggest the volcano may have developed direct connections to the Earth's upper mantle, giving it access to vastly larger magma volumes. If Etna is connected to deeper magma sources than previously understood, it means the volcano has access to vastly more material than scientific models have accounted for. The scale of potential future eruptions might be far beyond what current hazard assessments predict. But here's where it gets really concerning for the people living in the region. Current evacuation plans and hazard assessments for Mount Etna are based on historical patterns and models that assume the volcano has access to certain limited magma volumes. If those assumptions are wrong, if Etna can tap into much deeper, larger magma sources, then current emergency planning may be completely inadequate. Over 700,000 people live within 20 kilometers of Mount Etna's summit. The cities of Catania, Taormina, and dozens of smaller communities have developed over centuries based on the assumption that Etna's eruptions, while dangerous, follow predictable patterns with manageable impacts. If the volcano's fundamental behavior is changing, those assumptions might no longer be valid. Italian civil protection authorities are quietly updating their monitoring protocols and emergency response plans, but they're not communicating the full scope of their concerns to the public. The official position remains that the gas rings are an interesting phenomenon under study, with no immediate implications for public safety. But here's the most disturbing part. They're not just planning for Etna alone, because this phenomenon is part of a much larger geological story. Isolation. They're part of a complex geological system that connects multiple volcanoes across the Mediterranean Sea. Changes in one part of the system can trigger responses in other parts, like geological dominoes falling across hundreds of miles of underground rock.
Mount Vesuvius, the volcano that destroyed Pompeii and Herculaneum in 79 AD, sits just 200 miles northwest of Etna. While Vesuvius has been quiet since its last eruption in 1944, recent monitoring data shows increased gas emissions and minor seismic activity that correlates with the timing of Etna's gas ring phenomenon. Dr. Franco Barberi, who has studied Mediterranean volcanoes for over 40 years, recently published a paper suggesting that the underground magma systems of Etna and Vesuvius may be more connected than previously understood. We're seeing synchronized changes in gas chemistry and seismic patterns that suggest these volcanoes are responding to the same deep geological processes, he writes. But it's not just Vesuvius. The Campi Flagrae Caldera, located near Naples and home to over 3 million people, has been showing signs of unrest that coincide with Etna's unusual activity. Ground uplift measurements indicate that magma is moving closer to the surface, and gas emissions have increased significantly over the past year. When multiple volcanoes in a region start showing coordinated changes in behavior, it can indicate larger-scale geological processes at work. The Mediterranean sits on top of complex tectonic processes where the African and European plates are colliding, feeding the magma systems that power multiple regional volcanoes. Historical records show that major Mediterranean eruptions have often she occurred in clusters, with multiple volcanoes becoming active within relatively short time periods. The 79 AD eruption of Vesuvius was preceded by increased activity at Etna. The 1669 Etna eruption was followed by increased activity at Stromboli and other regional volcanoes. Recent satellite monitoring reveals that ground deformation patterns extend across much larger areas than individual volcanoes. GPS measurements show that the entire eastern Mediterranean region is experiencing subtle but coordinated movements that suggest large-scale changes in underground pressure systems. If these volcanic systems are connected at depth, it raises the possibility that major activity at one location could trigger responses at others. The last time Campi Flagrae erupted was in 1538, but geological evidence suggests that when it has erupted in the past, the events have been catastrophic in scale. But there's one more piece to this puzzle that brings everything full circle to those mysterious gas rings. Remember those perfect gas rings that started this whole investigation? Advanced computer modeling of the ring formation process has revealed something extraordinary. The precise pressure conditions required to create these rings can only exist when volcanic gas is being released from very specific depths under very particular circumstances. Dr. Maria Gonzalez, who specializes in volcanic gas dynamics at the European Space Agency, has been analyzing the rings using satellite-based spectroscopy. Her findings suggest that the gas rings are actually providing a direct window into processes happening hundreds of kilometers below the Earth's surface. These rings are like letters being sent from the deep Earth, Dr. Gonzalez explains. The gas composition, the formation rate, the consistency, they're all telling us about processes we've never been able to observe directly before. The spectroscopic data reveals that the gases forming the rings contain isotopic signatures that can be traced to specific depths in the Earth's mantle. By analyzing these signatures, scientists can essentially map the underground pathways that gas is following from the deep Earth to the surface. What they're finding is that Mount Etna has developed new connections to much deeper gas reservoirs than existed before. These connections appear to have formed recently, possibly triggered by seismic activity or changes in underground pressure systems that occurred in late 2023.